Hey guys, Subaru here, and today we are going to be installing these into this. But what these are are replacement headlights for like a Toyota FJ60 and like in Kenworth Semis, I believe it is. But basically, all they are are LED headlights that replace the old sealed beam Sylvanias. They've got the same three point plug, and I'm going to put them in my brat. I'll have a full review out on the channel once I'm used, once I like, once I know how they're like. But uh, basically, we take it. We're gonna take out this. We're gonna take the mounting hardware off of this, put it onto that. And we're gonna put that there. So step one is remove the grill. I'm gonna remove this surround for filming purposes. You might not have to do it if you're doing them yourself, but I'm just gonna do it so it's easier to see for you guys. So step one for that is to remove this grill. Then we're gonna take out these two bolts and remove the whole surround. I don't have any bolts here or there, otherwise they would be in the way, but they're not. So now that we've got this surround removed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the screw here, and I've already removed the screw here. There's a screw here and a screw here, and then your adjuster screw. All these screws come out on both headlights. This one isn't really bolted in that well, and I'm not sure why, but we remove these screws and then the head the bracketry on the back should mount to the LEDs. So what you're gonna do to actually mount the LEDs to the light is there's this metal ring that goes around the front of the light. I may have said back earlier I was wrong. So this metal ring it just slips off the front of your old sealed beam slips right over if I can do this with one hand onto the front of your LEDs. So as you can see, these lights are DOT approved. So we're gonna see how they do on the road. Like I said, there will be a full review coming soon on the channel. But I have to make the review first, so give me a couple of weeks. All right, so I will, I will say I did need longer screws for the mounts on the top. The bottom ones were fine, it was just the top ones. But look at that. You, we went from foggy and barely giving off any light. In fact, I think this one was burnt out to LEDs. So I'm gonna flip them on and show you how bright they are. So here's what they look like on low beam. They've got this T of light, and it, it seems like the T of light's upside down to me, but the, light, the words are the right way around. So we're gonna roll with it. If I have a problem, I will flip them around. I will make note of that in the comments. But here's the light. It's decently bright, and like I said, so basically the reason you need the adapter is if this is plugged in, which I will do real quick, if this is plugged in, these lights will be fully lit, which is 3,200 lumens at all times, which is not safe for road use. Look, they're so bright, they're reflecting on my camera. You can kind of see it there. But I'm not sure that's safe for road use. So we're gonna see how they are with just low beams on for brightness, and if they're not bright enough, like I said, I'll make a note in the comments that I plugged in the adapter. All right guys, so the lights are in. I'd show you them working, but I don't really have time because my phone's about to die. There's two issues with them. One, that one's not as bright as that one, and that's my fault. Both these issues are my fault. There's nothing wrong with the lights. They're great quality, I definitely recommend them. Well, so far, I'm gonna do a review on them once I fix all the issues. The other issue is the brights don't turn on. It turns off all the lights because I don't have a the right voltage relay in there, so it doesn't even detect that you switch to brights on because these lights have almost no current draw. So those are my two problems. Other than that, this is Subaru, and I'll see you later.